Oh baby, it's another mail day. What is up everybody? I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. This video is a bit disingenuous. I already recorded this video, but I'm a dumb dumb and I lost my SD card somewhere shuffling through different things. It's been a busy uh, week. Uh, I celebrated my 23rd birthday. I've also been really uh, busy with custom slip covers. Uh, link in the description. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and <laughs> I haven't been, I've been loafing on the videos. So uh, thank you for sticking around from the YouTube channel. I know I don't, I don't post as consistently as I used to, but I'm, I'm really trying to do so, especially with, you know, all these new uh, months coming up. I want to do a bunch of things like maybe Kino Vember as a challenge. Who knows, but that's far away and I kind of want to get into it right now because that is actually the theme of this video. Today, I have a, ba I have a package from uh, about, it, any, about It Wear, any, just About It Wear. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me find the actual seller. The seller is called Blow It Out of Here. Blow It Out of Here. Basically, um, I've been really meet looking for a kind of outlet or a venue to find uh, American uh, 4Ks because we don't really get the, um, what's it called, publishing here. Even though we do get it sometimes at Bay Street Video, they'll import some stuff, but sometimes it's really expensive. Like, um, I'll get into this, uh, what I got, but uh, you know, I saw it on the Facebook groups that uh, like, hey, where, who is the most uh, reputable eBay seller that sells? Cause this isn't, they're not just like a person. It's like an actual like storefront with like actual, like a, uh, like a, like an actual a list of employees and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay. You know, it was, it was highly rated in the, uh, the, the Facebook groups, the Canadian Facebook groups. And um, yeah, so this is a Kino Lorber pickup. The second last pickup until I have every single Kino Lorber 4K. Obviously next week, uh, 12 Angry Men is coming out and then until I get that, uh, my collection will never be complete obviously because I keep releasing things. But for the most part, I would have every single Kino Lorber 4K in my collection. And this is a bit of a rare one. And that is In Bruges on 4K Blu-ray. Now this, already came out uh, a while back, um, maybe a few months ago. It was available always on Bay Street Video for like $29.99. I'd always see it, I'm like, you know what, I've never seen this movie before, uh, so I'm not gonna pick it up. And then now I'm in my crazy phase of trying to collect every single Kino Lorber 4K, and then it sold out. And then they got a restock, but those are, Im those are imported stock. So Bay Street Video wanted, I think, $55 for it. So I was like, oof, I do want it. There is a nice slip cover with it, but I, I feel like I can find somewhere else to pick it up and then I saw that Facebook post about blow it out of here so I decided to pick it up and it was like five dollars shipping it did take a while I think I, got, I ordered it on February 27th and I just got it today so it took a bit of a while but uh, you know uh, as long as I get it in good condition whatever uh, I have it in my hands for a decent price I am pretty good because it was pretty cheap Canadian I think it was $23 Canadian on sale so I don't know how much that is $18 US but I finally have it in the collection. Now, I did, again, already open this. This has already been unboxed by me. So it is in my poly mailer. Or my, I guess, what's it called? One of those uh, poly bags. But a little pit, pet peeve is that it did come a bit dinged. I don't know if you can see that crease across it. But again, it's not the worst thing. As long as I can get the 4K in my hands and watch the disc. Again, because, you know, I am a bit of a you know, a, a nosy guy. That's why I have a slipcover uh, business because I'm super picky about my artwork and about the quality of it. So uh, that's why I'm really picky when it comes to the actual slipcovers that I pay a lot for. Uh, but you know, again, uh, at this point, you know, it's like, this is the only possible way to get it to 4K to me because I was like, you know, I'll just wait for the Kino sale. And then last year I had it in my cart actually, or the last, you know, December sale when I decided, when decided to buy all the Kino 4Ks and it was only available in the US and there was no way to import it. You know, cause when you go to the, uh, what's it called? The checkout, it says imports internationally. And then it says ships, like ships internationally. And then there's another sign that says ships to US and Canada. But this was the one that said ships only to the US. So that was a bit of a bummer, but I did finally get it in my hands in Bruges on 4K. Uh, this is the same team who made uh, Bands of Inisherin, and I absolutely love this film. Same cast, well, besides, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ralph Fiennes, but you do got Brendan Gleeson, and you do have uh, Colin Farrell, so that should be really good. I heard it was a really cool, fun, dark comedy uh, 
thing, so I am really excited to finally watch this. Uh, so I don't know if I want to do Key November, because it, it kind of falls with that sounds catchy, but I really want to get into these, and I don't know if, if this, because I have more than 30 Kino 4Ks, right? So it'll probably take longer than a month to do, to watch all of these, review them, just talk about them. But once I get uh, Marathon Man and 12 Angry Men in my collection, I'll be doing a huge talking about every single Kino Lorber in my 4K collection. Because I don't know, dude, is there other people who have every single Kino Lorber 4K collection with the slipcover? I don't know. So, um, but yeah, in Bruges, finally added to the collection, one step closer to having every single Kino Lorber in my 4K collection. Here is the, uh, with it out of the slipcover, and you got the iconic Kino Lorber kind of stencil uh, logos with it. So that's cool. No, uh, what's it called, reversible artwork, but that is fine, because, you know, it's, it's just a it's nice little black comedy, so, or dark comedy, depending on uh, what you prefer to call it, but comes with a few things. It comes with four featurettes, deleted scenes, extended scenes, and a gag reel, EPK, cast and crew interviews, B-roll, and theatrical trailer, so not the biggest in the way of special features. When it comes to Kino Lorber's, again, I say this every video, but it's a hit or miss. Sometimes you'll get a huge slew of special features, but I think their primary thing is to get the best possible quality when it comes to image-wise uh, to you, so that's why it's also a lot cheaper than, like, I think it's like almost $10 cheaper than a, uh, a Shout Factory here in Canada, at least, so I don't know. The prices could be more closer together, but for the most part, Kino Lorber, they're absolutely excellent when it comes to the pricing because you can get it $29.99 brand new MSRP uh, with a slip cover if you buy it day one, and that's a pretty good deal for a boutique especially because, you know, I've seen random studio releases like, like Top Gun Maverick right now is $34, but then I can get Embruge or something for $29.99, so, you know, whatever. So, uh, yeah, so... New to the collection, Imbruz, just wanted to give you guys a little update. Uh, I have another hunting video coming out the day after this, so stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I am Mace from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Let me know down below, is there any kind of collecting kind of, not habits, or collecting kind of goals you want to do? Maybe collect all, you know, 20th Century Fox 4Ks or collect all the Disney 4Ks. I know a lot of people who love Disney 4Ks. My first goal was to collect every single Star Wars 4K with the slip covers. I have that except for episode two, but I'm kind of like, like, do I really want episode two in my 4K collection? It doesn't look really that good. I've seen it on Disney Plus, the stream. Didn't look that good. It's not a very good movie that I want to go back to, but it's just that one last piece uh, for my collection. So I don't know. Let me know down below if you have anything similar when it comes to your collecting uh, goals or collecting like things that you want to do. Because it, it, honestly, having goals or having things that you want to collect for makes collecting more fun. Besides just saying, hey, there's a movie that I kind of like, uh, let me buy it on 4K. If you have like, oh, I want to buy it, like I know uh, some people want to buy every single Kino Lorber 4K or, or every Shout Factory 4K or Scream Factory 4K, because I know those Shout Factories, they have spine numbers, right? And that's that's the worst thing you could do, because that'd be like, oh, now I got to get everything from 1 to 200. You know, same with Criterion, getting every spine number, but they're in the thousands, so... That'll be forever. But anyways, uh, that was today's video. Again, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. I have been Mason from the Mock Bus, your YouTube channel. Please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. Please stay safe and God bless. Peace, cheers, long and physical media. See you guys.